Hello, this video is about my program Keep Track, um, which is a music playing and organising program uh, designed for individuals and DJs. You can add all of your music and create uh, playlists. So I'll just uh, show you this now. With Keep Track, you add your artists onto the left hand side and the tracks for those artists on the right hand side. So I'll just show you an example of doing that now. And there is um, a, a song that has just been added. Um, so I'll delete this for now. Um, below the um, artist uh, list is um, the pictures for the artist and the track. Um, so what I'm going to do now is search uh, for some files so that a lot of files can be added at once, which you can probably do with your entire MP3 collection if you wanted to. Uh, but it could uh, take a while to do that, so um, I have a, a, f a CD that I ripped earlier, uh, now 78, so I'll just uh, choose MP3 there. Uh, the artist name is in this format, so I'll put that at the top. Uh, it's pop music, and I do not want to create a batch at this time, so I'll just press the button. There you go, 42 tracks added. Um, so here you go, and as you can see, they've all been sorted. Um, they've only got this brackets with the numbers because that was part of the file name. Uh, you can also add artists based on the ID3 tag, as you probably saw in the previous window. Um, so all of these artists have one track each, except for Rihanna, who has two which are these two here. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is add um, some of these into a, a playlist which is known as a batch on uh, Keep Track. So one way of doing that is to click on this, uh, create a new batch. And then add that to the batch. Um, another way of adding a song to a batch um, is to go to here, add to batch, and then click on the batch you had there. So I'll just um, add another few songs quickly. Um, as you can see, below the um, tracks are some, you can also add the lyrics if you want and some notes about the track. Uh, to do that you just click on the Edit Track Details button. Uh, you can change the genre of the track, uh, the date and the, the name of it. And also type in the lyrics and notes. Um, you can also get the details of the track from the tag as well or you can just show the tags information if you want to which is uh, the, the ID, uh, ID3 V1 tag so I've now created a batch with four tracks so what I'll do is uh, just show these all at once, they're here and what you can do now is you've got these buttons here which allow you to play this playlist from the top or from the current selected track or in a random order. So I'm going to play them from the top. So that's playing now and the good thing about this is that you can actually add tracks to the playlist while um, while they're playing. So I've just done that. Open this so all you need to do is uh, just double click and you can see that it's been added to the bottom there. 
and when the when this gets to that track it will start playing it as well so I'll just do that again so that's that shows that um, another good thing about this is when the track reaches near to the end the next track starts playing um, but over the top of the previous track so you get um, the tracks sort of fading into each other which sounds a lot better than just uh, a track ending and then silence and then the next track starting um, additionally when you select a new track to play the previous track fades out and the new track plays over the over the uh, top of that while it's fading out which also sounds better than immediately stopping the previous track so let's uh, come out of this uh, but well you can also um, use this window to search for um, extra I mean add extra artists to the playlist uh, you can search by genre um, and if you clear this box you can actually add those tracks as well um, to the playlist um, I'm going to now show you um, a few other features of Keep Track Quickly uh, one uh, that might be useful to you is to export an X HTML report um, which basically creates um, an HTML file um, with all the information so I'm just going to select everything and it is actually impossible to embed um, pictures into the database and when, once you could generate this report it will also create a folder in the same location as the report with these um, these pictures so they will also appear in the report um, I'm just going to keep I'll take, turn that off for now um, just keep the, that colour scheme there just create it on the desktop there you go, I'm just going to show you that now And here is the uh, result of that. Uh, we've got the da uh, database name. Uh, it's not been saved, so it just comes up with that. Um, the time and date it was generated. And you can also skip directly to the list of artists or batches. And then you can see all the details for the um, artists and tracks. So I'll just go down to Rihanna, who has two tracks as you can see here um, and that, that's the file name and it's also got other details like the length of the track and the date of the track, the genre and it's also got uh, her next track as well so as you can imagine if you've got lots of um, tracks this report can get pretty big and down at the bottom there you've got the list of uh, tracks in this uh, playlist which I created so I'll we'll just come out of that now. Uh, the options of Keep Track um, allow you to change the font and colour um, of the text and the background. And also, when you haven't got any track selected, this, this area here contains a picture, as you probably saw. And there's a lot of built-in pictures which you can choose and also you can select your own picture by choosing custom or turn off pictures altogether by choosing none and you can put grid lines on and you can opt you, this option here allows you to stop playing a track if it becomes uh, un, uh, deselected uh, this artist and track count shows you how many artists and tracks are in the database I have created a full uh, help file for this program um, which contains uh, lots of information about how to use it and everything. There you go, this is, this is it here. So I'll now um, show you the website of Keep Track quickly. 
Um, so here it is, and the website address is www.martin2k.co.uk forward slash keep track. And if you wanted to download a demo, you just click on this button here, and you can either download it from download.com or directly from this website. It's only 3.25 megabytes, and the latest version, 3.8.7, was added um, uh, by me on the 1st of March uh, 2012. Hopefully, uh, this has um, made you interested in Keep Track, which I know is a very useful program. I use it all the time to play my music. If you're not interested in other programs such as iTunes or you just want something a little bit different but also offers um, a lot of functionality as you've seen with this video. And thank you very much for watching.